hello everyone welcome back welcome back to the channel it's the scene tarot so we're gonna get into it this is going to be for gemini's hi guys how are you i hope that everybody is doing very well so let's just get into it gemini's and see what we have for you this is going to be a no contact read um the person that you're thinking about the person that is thinking about you what's going on here <laughs> is this person coming back is this person moving on is this person thinking about you okay so this is a general not a personal read it's not going to resonate for everyone but if it does you guys go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the yt so let's see what we have for you gemini's Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Father, Holy Angels, Angel Guides, Ancestors, for Gemini's. What's the energy for Gemini's? Ooh, cards are flying all over the place. What's the energy for Gemini's? The energy for Gemini, no contact read. Okay, so the first card that I'm seeing here is the Eight of Wands energy for you. We also have the Two of Cups energy. We also have here the King of Swords energy in reverse, okay? So no contact confirmed within the situation, separation as well, but I do feel like messages or clarity is coming to you very soon i feel like this is something that you wanted to find out about this situation and why this situation fell this way you know so i'm seeing some force force of messages this could also be love for those of you because this is the eight of wands i feel like this is sag um, energy as well that rules this card and there's a lot of love at first sight energy that i'm feeling and it's crazy that's the first card that came up and then you have the mutual feelings here even though it's in reverse so whatever you're going through right now this person is also going through it gems and of course there's no communication that is also coming out here so i just wanted to let you guys know that before i continue so that's being confirmed no crown chakra activity no conversation no understanding here it's like they're still where they're at what they're still in their beliefs they haven't grown from this situation per se at this point i'm also seeing the four of cups energy i'm also seeing the nine of swords energy and this is your energy gems i feel like the king of swords is also your energy the king of swords is ruled by gemini's and also the nine of swords as well and i'm seeing the chariot so cancer energy for those of you who are dealing with a cancer um here but gemini's you're going through a lot of depression stress anxiety um you just feel like you know what maybe this is your fault okay you're doubting yourself here a lot of you have been waiting for a change or waiting for this person to kind of show up and you know make things better um you're waiting for this person to you know grow up you know in an energy that you can see them in but for some reason this person is in and out of your life this is what i'm getting here so let me just i'm being pulled to this deck here okay let me just see what's going on here for gems what's the energy for gems what is the energy for gems holy spirit being pulled okay okay there is going to be a decision for you gems that you're going to have to make for yourself i'm also seeing healing on the back of the deck for those of you because this situation is going to call 
for the Ten of Swords, which is also your energy, which is forgiveness, letting go, closing chapters, and healing, and you know, and moving on with your life. Um, and I'm seeing like that is also going to be something that you're going to have to go through. We also, oh, slippery suckers. We also have happiness here. So within the sun. This is also about choosing yourself because you've been through some kind of cold and hot situation with this person. I feel like this person left you out in the cold, okay? It says left out in the cold here on the bottom, okay? So I feel like this is something that you have been going through and then I'm seeing some kind of getting back together, okay? And trying to make it work between each other, finding a way back to each other after all of this and it's crazy because you do have that two of cups energy all right you do have the mutual feelings even though you guys are in separation there is a yearning to be reunited within this connection for both sides okay not just one but for both sides but i do feel like this person has something going on where there's a lot of confusion here within the chariot because this person doesn't know what to do at this point. And I do feel like there was conversations that have been held within the situation because you want more. You want more, you're bored within the situation and this person is just taking their lovely time. You don't get it, all right? You don't get it and you want more. Um, I don't see where you're ready to move on from this, though. You're still, like, waiting for this person with the heart, with the cups, okay? With your emotional desires. Your emotional desires are still with this person's energy. Despite the confusion that they are going through within cancer, like, they're confused where they need to be, who they need to choose, um, and they're not making a decision right now and this is driving you crazy you guys are not taking care of yourself you're not healing you're not focusing you're just focusing and overthinking a lot of things especially about this person that's coming up within this energy pool all right well within this no contact read so tell me more holy spirit and i'm also being told that it's for nothing because you're coming back together you're just dressing out for nothing um <laughs> you're gonna find your way back um i do see both sides are not communicating and i feel like i do see the contract as well for both of you it's like you're supposed to be learning spiritually within this realm together you're supposed to be going through breakthroughs and change and growth within each other's energy and teaching each other how to communicate as well and talk to other people and conversate because i'm seeing like the queen and the king of swords in reverse contract vibes two of cups energy this is what you're supposed to be in this life to do so a lot of you are supposed to be in each other's life for a lo very long time because this is a spiritual growth, okay? And you guys are not seeing eye to eye. You guys are in reverse right now. There's a five of swords, so you do have your reasons why. You also have the nine of pentacles. There's a lot of identity struggles and power loss okay definitely a lot of independence that has been thrown out the door i just feel like you have this nine of pentacles because you're going through the nine of swords not taking care of yourself you know really just giving this person the power here within the nine of pentacles so this is also in reverse so you're going to have to find yourself again this is what i'm hearing you're going to have to find yourself again um within this situation and i feel like this this um relationship this no contact the reason why you guys fell out is for a purpose because i do see like this person is causing you a lot of pain all right the two of cups is cancer energy is ruled by cancer again you know i feel like this person might have decided to put you through this because they're the one that's not making a decision to come back to you when you know when it's necessary so they might have broken up with you uh gemini's here and you're having a hard time getting over this situation okay so what else 
this five of swords um is definitely harsh energy and i feel like it's still in the upright this is why i'm getting like this 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 there's no learning here not yet like this person doesn't get it yet because this five of swords is a in its witted energy and i'm going to do everything in my power to look good and to come out on the top of everything despite if i'm even wrong or right it doesn't even matter at this point i'm going to still come out strong you also have the two of swords energy you have the ace of cups energy as well and you also have the six of cups six of cups is ruled by scorpio but this could be moon sign or rising sign or something within their chart if you're not dealing with a scorpio but i'm seeing the contract here the contract is definitely being very clear you have the two of cups six of cups plus you have this queen and king swords energy where there's a lot of spiritual growth that you guys came in each other's energy and made that form of contract before coming here so you needed you needed each other you needed each other's light truth um i just feel like this person might be similar sign as you gems maybe you're dealing with another gem too for those of you because of that king and queen energy or some kind of ear quality maybe it is a libra for those of you maybe a lot of you gems are dealing with a libra energy as well um, because the queen of swords is ruled by libra and i'm seeing like there's a decision again that needs to be decided here in the two you also have the ace of cups here and the six of cups okay so the ace of cups in reverse wow what a a huge emotional loss here a huge emotional loss and you have the six of cups in reverse next to the ace of cups i mean a lot of you are thinking about this experience as a heartache this person needs to make a decision but this person is is really struggling here making this decision this is very difficult because they're saying that this person is someone that they knew for a while or been dealing with for a while okay so it's very hard for them to just cut someone off and this is why they haven't been around lately um and then you are looking at this relationship as just a bad experience but it still doesn't take away the fact that you still have love for this person and you're still waiting okay you're still waiting and hoping looking behind you hoping that this person is going to show up within this energy like i said it's like you're manifesting this getting back together and not even knowing it because you're stressed out for nothing but this is who you want to work things out with you already know that they're cold they're showing up cold twice over very cold energy like throw you out when they want to and they feel nothing nothing about this because i just feel like this person is going to be coming back all right all right so here is the tower energy you also have the king of cups energy no secret there because the ace of cups is in reverse then we have the three of swords energy that is also coming out here so the tower really quickly this is letting me know that there was a, a hiccup within this relationship and it's like you didn't have time to pro process that what was happening here this everything was just happening very fast even with this energy the, with the messages like this is just symbolizing that everything came in so quickly to the point that you guys broke up you guys had some kind of disagreement and suddenly there was no information there was no communication so this is how it turned into a no contact energy this person is wearing a wall because they don't know how to express their feelings towards you and that's another thing that i feel like you and this person needs to learn is how to be emotional towards each other and trust each other especially if you have a contract together but this three of swords is showing up in the present moment and so is the five of swords 
which is also in the present moment. So you're still dealing with this pain. This is very severe and painful. And you're trying to heal, but it's very hard. You're still not there yet, okay? Just like, remember what I told you? Look at that, the healing. Wow, competition is also shown up on the back of the deck. And then we have action here. This is needed from action. Like some kind of messages is going to come in. It says, take action, send message. So, wow, there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. But there's also a lot of competition that is trying to force you out or trying to take your place. And I'm also seeing the healing process that is on the back of the deck. So then you have the high front here. Okay. You have the high front in Taurus energy. Major Arcana is Taurus, Scorpio, Aries, who else that we have? Cancer. That's the major arcana that I'm seeing right now. We also have the Ace of Wands. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles for those of you in reverse, okay? Hmm, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um... I do feel like there's a decision that is made here and this is also coming in very quickly but I feel like when this new beginning come in to work something out here this could be a marriage for those of you that you're married to this person and this person is coming in and you are definitely having a hard time to receive this person on a stability level it's like you're not trusting this person with your bank accounts, with what you have accomplished in life, um, you are definitely protecting that state of mind, okay? Um, and especially, this could also be your mental state as well, like you just not trust in this person with your, your, your mental state, okay? Because they put you through a lot of, you know, heartache and deception and lies and mask energy like you just you're, you're getting to know who this person truly is at this time it's like you thought you knew this person but you're realizing that you don't or you didn't all right so let me see here i wanted to see what connection this was so tell me more holy spirit about the connection tell me more about the connection me more about this connection I think it's tell me more about this connection what is the connection here this no contact energy wow calling in your soulmate calling in your soulmate i feel like this could be your soulmate because you do have the two here which is i feel like this is a karmic relationship honestly because all the contracts are shown up in reverse even the connection and i feel like it's like you have to get through some kind of situation first within this person's energy to so you can be able to move forward not saying that this is not the person you're meant to be with but there is some kind of past energy that is a hiccup here that is holding everything um in some form of delay i do see like you're going to have some kind of beginning here so this there the movements are not paused but the love energy is in LA as well. So I just feel like there's some kind of cosmic correction first that needs to be sorted out within this situation. And you're getting calling in my soulmate energy. So it is in reverse, this contract here in a two of cups. It's like, this is your person, but right now you can't stand each other. All right, so like, tell me one more. All right, so the one that I got is true love. Wow, true love. I thought she wasn't gonna get anything else, but <laughs> here it is. True love coming through here. So soulmate connection, true love. So the, the Holy Spirit is letting you know that this is basically what is it? What it is, true love. But I'm also seeing on the back that you need to be playful, like some kind of playfulness that is missing, which is the sun energy. Um, just being free, youthful, full of joy, smiling a little bit more. 
and I feel like this energy really took that away from you but there's a need for balance this is Libra this is Libra energy okay also the Queen of Swords is Libra energy as well so there's a need for balance here okay all right so let me just tap into this person's energy it wouldn't be right then we're going to clarify some um, cards for this person as well just wanted to see where they are in the situation okay let's see what we have for this person that's coming through for Gemini's this person that's coming through for Gemini's what's the energy for this person that is coming through for Gemini's A star this person is they're looking at you as the star energy gems like the star energy oh, Aquarius vibes you guys for those of you who are dealing with Aquarius vibes that you know explains the five of swords energy with that Aquarius energy as well um, but I'm seeing faith here I'm seeing hope I'm seeing that this is not hopeless after all like this person still have some kind of faith okay that you're you are going to be back together you're going to be communicating i feel like the star is also here some kind of prayer has been answered because it's like this person is so sure that you guys are going to communicate i'm also seeing that they're going to communicate with you they're bringing you up here you know gemini's energy the king of swords they're saying, yeah, they're going to communicate with you. There's going to be a huge opportunity. I feel like this person might be planning something as well to get back into your good graces or to have a conversation with you. All right. So tell me more, Holy Spirit, for Gemini's. Tell me more for Gemini's. Wow. So this person is looking at you as the emperor. They're looking at you with this energy of determination ready to go to battle and ready to win this person is not this person is very confident this person is very cocky to me and you know it's like it's no room to fail this is what i'm getting here i'm getting that energy like there's no room to fail um aries energy is also coming out for those of you that is dealing with an aries okay tell me more Wow, the Ten of Swords. Sorry, you guys, I didn't show you, you the cards. The Ten of Swords. Okay, tell me more. The High Front in Reverse. So there's a lot of codependency on their end. I feel like they had some kind of advice that they listened to, and it wasn't the right advice that they went went through then you have the 11 11 here which is the four of wands energy Aries energy again the four of wands hmm interesting Taurus energy in reverse, a lot of stubbornness here. So a lot of you could be Taurus moon as well. I'm just seeing that, you know, there's a lot of healing for you gems within the situation. So you're going to need time. Remember what I talked about, healing was coming up for you because you just been through a lot of competition, a lot of realization that this person is just not what you thought they were, especially dealing with the Five of Swords energy as well. Um, and you're going to need to heal from this. You're going to have need time from this. 
and i feel like this situation is because it was very untruthful what took place here it wasn't even the truth so i feel like this person had some form of information uh, that wasn't that wasn't right you know and it's like they went with that and now i'm seeing like they want to resolve this they want to be able to move on from this codependent situation this this person that they listened to this this person that was just full of stubbornness or saw things one way uh, maybe they were very old-fashioned and not very open-minded to the situation maybe you guys are different you know from different places or maybe you have different beliefs or something like that within the high front and someone here was really trying to be like you know putting fear within this person's life about you and so they made a decision and now this person well they made a decision on based on that and now this person is wanting to come back all right so let's see tell me more wow the king of pentacles the moon in reverse pisces energy major arcana and then you have the tower wow so oh wow it's crazy just a huge mistake and now trying to rebuild with you and really bringing in the security that this relationship needs <laughs> that's what i'm getting You have the King of Pentacles energy. This is like a lot of balance and a lot of stability, security, okay? There was a mistake that happened and I feel like this person wants to come in with a lot of security. You have the star, you have the the knight, the King of Pentacles energy, you have the Emperor, you have the King of Swords like this person has had done a mistake within the moon and keeping secrets from you as well gems and they're saying that like your intuition picked this up you know this was it was something that was going on and now I f i'm seeing like this person wants to resolve this just like you know they want a future here they can still see a future vibe with you within this connection they want to rebuild within the tower Scorpio and Aries energy. There's a, a lot of Aries energy that is coming through here. You have it in the the tower. You also have it in the emperor here. You have it in the four of uh, wands energy. The three of cups, cancer energy. Whew. Elements, elements another trying to like be like trying to move on from this trying to celebrate trying to you know have some form of future with you it's like definitely looking like fulfillment here like they want us be able to just laugh about this and have some kind of fulfillment happiness the page of pentacles and the three of wands energy <laughs> all right i feel like there's a distance between you and this person and it's been for a while this is not coming up as something that happened yesterday <laughs> this is coming up as something that happened in the past okay because this person is looking at you like so much time have passed here and i feel like whatever they had going on they could have been in a relationship as well but it didn't work out within that three of wands in reverse and now it's like what should i do all right i feel like this person doesn't know what to do within this page of pentacles when it comes to how to get this started all right It's like something that they owe you, they need to give back to you, but this is in reverse, this page of pentacles. All right, so we're gonna find out later what that's all about. Tell me more. The five of pentacles, the ace of swords, 
the Queen of Cups. Interesting. Definitely seeing some kind of insecurity within the Queen of Cups energy. You have the Ace of Swords energy, and then you have the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles, this is something that they need to give back. I feel like that's why the Page of Pentacles is coming up. I feel like this person can give it to you, but I feel like there's so much pride here. Like, they don't know how to do this. And I feel like they need to figure that out. I'm also seeing that um, there was a lot of hardship here that they left you with. We left you with a lot of responsibility, hardship within this situation, within this five of pentacles. I feel like a lot of you are still going through it. They're looking at you as the present moment as going through this hardship. So this could be your home. This could be the foundation of the relationship. They're standing in the cold here because you do have that cold energy within the cards that we pulled earlier. Please don't fall, my shell. All right, so the cards that we pulled earlier, this standing in the cold energy, is the same thing as the Five of Pentacles. So this is being confirmed for those of you, okay, who are dealing with this situation. And this is still a present situation. I do see a breakthrough within the spiritual aspect because, again, you guys are supposed to be in each other's life to communicate, to grow spiritual together, to experience all seven chakras as activated i feel like all seven chakras activated i feel like that's a little bit too intense for you both but you're supposed to spirit experience spiritual growth within each other communication help each other to communicate and you know just really tap into the gifts that you already have but there is a lot of things that have occurred here now within the ace of swords is very powerful and i need to really really tap and let you guys know how powerful this is so whatever communication issues that you have got you guys have that you are experiencing no communication just know that this ace of swords is going to override that so there's going to be communication everything that is a lie everything that has been buried is going to come to the surface the ace of swords is going to shake up that whole situation the holy spirit is this is very spiritual card so the holy spirit is saying like enough is enough this has just been going on for too much and now we're going to shake this up so you have the queen of cups energy as well in reverse here the queen of cups it's like there wasn't any security in this relationship so of course i just feel like some of you might have ghosted each other as well or this person just stopped calling you or talking to you or you stop talking to them because it's in the the tower is in reverse as well so but i just feel like there's a lot of rebuilding as well like trying to come back to you within the tower all right so let's see what we have here we have the temperance we have the seven of pentacles energy we also have this knight of cups energy so a lot of pride in the second chance I don't feel like this person is going to say, hey, I want a second chance. It's more like, you know, trying to fix everything and then build a relationship with you. And suddenly you, you found you're, you're feeling like you guys are just in a relationship without even having some kind of confirmation or conversation. I feel like this person needs to venture into some kind of investment or invest it in you. So make sure you guys are having conversations because I feel like this person is heading back you know not trying to invest because of everything that occurred here i feel like these people must have told this person about money issues um or maybe you are spending a lot of money or you have sp a money spending issue or something like that because this person is not giving me the investment like giving back to you the way that they should and they can so i'm also seeing time here divine timing is at play here within the temperance the holy spirit is like this needs time to heal um you need time to heal everyone needs time to heal and try not to force anything to occur or to happen because the holy spirit is saying that this is going to take place like this situation this coming back this getting back together is going to happen regardless so um enjoy your life and to heal because the temperance is also about healing and respecting the process of the divine ex respect in the process of the universe as well so take time take your time you guys don't force anything 
I just wanted to see what the animal spirit around this is. Let's look, just get one card from this right now. And then we'll come back to it a little bit later if possible. It's the energy. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Ancestors, the wolf, protection, loyalty. Um just guardianship you have a lot of people that loves you on the other side and also in the physical realm you think because you're in the physical body that no one cares about you and you have to do things on by yourself to get things done but the holy spirit is like you have no idea people are praying for you people that you don't even have a real you know connection with and they just see you and see your smile and just send a prayer so just know that you're heavenly loved and appreciated here as well, okay? All right, so let's just see what angels are around this, and then we're going to start to clarify some cards. All right, so let's see. Can I have two angels? Wow, that was fast. <laughs> that was fast. On the back of the deck, I'm seeing dreams here, the angel of dreams, so a lot of you could be very um gifted where you're receiving visions within your dreams some of you could be receiving them as you are awake and this is like you are definitely out of body when you do experience this when you're out of wake i, I experience i experience that sometimes as well and it's very scary because you're like damn i could have fell <laughs> i could have fell over or something but most of the time that i do have this thank god i'm in a place where i am you know I'm almost always sitting down or something when I when I have this situation. So a lot of you need to focus on the messages that the Holy Spirit is trying to show you and to give you and to also listen to your heart and your intuition. All right. Because if you are receiving these dreams and visions is because you have been thinking about this. You your heart chakra has been trying to warn you about this. And a lot of you have been going through a lot of hard times, okay? So I'm seeing like this tunnel energy, like you've been through a lot of trials and tribula tribulations all your life, okay? And you have experienced this situation. And now your, your angel, the angel of positivity is transforming your life because you are done being the victim. You are done, you know, going in your past. You don't want to deal with this anymore. You just want to forgive. You want to let go and you want to move forward within the light. So there's a light for you. There is a tunnel for you that you're going through with your angel guide that always, and it's just so crazy that you thought you were in this tunnel all by yourself, right? And look who's been with you the whole time, your angel. So even in the darkness, you guys, when you're going through stress, depression, anxiety, that know that your the Holy Spirit always places someone there to guide you. Your guide is with you, holding your hands, walking with you, trying to comfort you. You might not be able to see them within this physical eye because you're in a physical body and they're in the spiritual form and they can see more than you can. They can see different directions. They they have their third eye open, okay? They're seen in, in 360 here, okay? They're they're seen all over all right but you has the spiritual body and if you're not spiritually awakened then your your third eye is not awake okay your third eye is not open and you only can see through the the two eyes that you have within the physical body so you could only see in front of you in front of you and that's it you're not seeing behind you you're not seeing what's up above you're not seeing you know on on each side the right or the left you're not seeing all directions and all perspective you know and that could happen for you so your angel guides are there to direct you it's like a gps so anytime you feel like you're off course just know that your angel guides are going to correct it all right and you are coming out of the dark whatever darkness you have been facing positive vibration is around you you know just like when you had the wolf energy wow ancestors i mean guardianship angel guides all over this all over this protecting you within the wolf no one can come towards you i'm seeing um angel michael the protector as well sometimes he appears within you know the wolf or within um the lion energy okay so 
888 uh, eight, eight, or 444 for those of you who are seeing that angel number that is just a confirmation that you have such a beautiful strong amazing angel that is always around you and protecting you and then you have angel Raphael within the temperance about emotional healing and love it's all about love here for both sides within this person's energy and your energy as well I'm also seeing the angel of belief and this is something that comes up in Gemini energy all the time because this angel is letting me know right off the bat you know that you need to believe in everything that you do to be successful within your life without beliefs you're not going to be successful so make sure you're believing anything that you do anything that you're manifesting look at the angel manifesting prayers and they believe it's like they're showing you how to do it um, and just believe in it. And I always tell you just to pray for something and let it go. Um, you know, I feel like when you pray for the same thing over and over, um, it's like you don't believe it. You know what I mean? Especially when it's like, I'm just getting like there's a hiccup there. So just pray for something and believe in that it's going to happen. Um, this person in this picture, it seems like she's holding up some form of picture or looking at someone and missing someone here. And this person is wishing for, you know, someone to return within this belief energy. And I feel like the angels have heard you within that aspect, okay? All right, so let's see what we got here for this person's energy. There's not a lot of reverse energy here for this person, so I'm just going to ask what we can okay so tell me about this high front in reverse holy spirit what is this energy with the high front in reverse Ooh, the sun the sun and this came out out of nowhere so leo energy here this person wants to be happy this is why they listen to this this energy here um but this energy is giving me codependent and giving me like the wrong advice Tell me more about that situation, Holy Spirit. They just wanted to be happy. They just wanted that playful energy again. That smile, that bliss, that youthful vibration that you guys are running around and just having fun together and laughing together till you, your stomach hurts. You know, they wanted to bring that back within the relationship. And there was some kind of advice that took place here that... I feel like it was like a like a moment of weakness. You know, they were weak in the situation and this person might have took advantage of them in that weakness and they made a mistake. Yeah, they had a choice and they made a mistake here. Yeah, so they made a choice that really affected the relationship with you. Tell me about the moon energy, Holy Spirit. What is this moon energy in reverse for this person that's coming through for Gemini's? Let's see. Tell me about this moon energy. All right. So you have the death in Scorpio. So there's a stuck energy as well. Um, it's like this happened within the moon, but there was no moving forward. I don't feel like this person has moved on. This person has been stuck within this energy. Um, a lot of you could have been dealing with some kind of water-based energy as well, Scorpio or Pisces. Um, I'm getting them all here. We have Scorpio, we have Scorpio, we have Pisces. Um, do we have Cancer somewhere? Yeah, the Queen of Cups is Cancer energy as well. So there's a lot of emotions here that's being hidden. Okay, so tell me more about this death energy. Cancer, OMG. I was just wondering about Cancer because we have Major Arcana with Scorpio. Major Arcana with Scorpio twice. We have Pisces here, Major Arcana. And look now, Cancer. Cancer in the chariot. That is so crazy. So crazy. So creepy. <laughs> Holy Spirit. <laughs> but here it is. That It's like, now I'm seeing the chariot in the upright and... It's like this person hasn't moved because this person wants to be with you. This is what I'm getting here. They haven't moved on because they want to be with you within the chariot. And I feel like the chariot was something that came up within your read where there was a lot of confusion here. 
Tell me more about this chariot energy, Holy Spirit. Tell me more about this chariot energy. Tell me more about this chariot energy that's coming up. Mm. Wow, Leo again. Leo energy. The strength. So this person, the strength in reverse, they're afraid of you. This is what I'm getting. They're afraid of rejection here. But Angel Michael is here within the strength, appearing undercover and pushing this person. And I just want you guys to know something. Just because someone did something bad to you does not mean that they don't have angel guides as well. Everyone has angel guides. Doesn't matter how bad they are in this life, okay? It doesn't matter if they take people life or whatever. Everybody has an angel, guys. It's just the choice for you to listen to them or you don't. Um, you know, it's like one of those movies where you see your evil angels and your 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 what is it? Your heavenly angels on one one side of you, but it's it's not that funny. I just feel like everyone has angels that are telling them to do the right thing all right but it's just up to you to choose to do what you need to do because you have freedom of will angel michael is also in this person's life and telling this person to have courage because they don't have courage at this moment i just feel like they're scared all right so tell me about the tower in reverse holy spirit holy angels holy father holy angel guides so this person is scared. This person is scared. Wow, the three of swords in reverse. So they're saying this happened a while ago. This could be another incident that happened within the three of swords because they're bringing me back into the past with the three of swords being in reverse. Like you have let this go once before or you guys have healed from this before. Um, and this is where it started. So tell me more about that Three of Swords. Ooh, that Three of Swords energy. The Three of Swords energy. Uh-oh, I have two. I have the Ace of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So there was a definite cycle here in a pattern. And I feel like there was a lot of bad vibes, bad luck with this situation. A lot of bad things that have happened here. Um... The lesson was definitely not learned or you just had enough of this situation and there's a, a delay a delay with the new beginning with you know new perspective new direction um the passion as well something has been cut off dramatically it's just funny how the ace of the ace of wands is coming back out here again and then you have the three of swords energy which <sighs> it's like this i'm seeing someone crying a lot there's a lot of tears within the three of swords a lot of down energy again healing is the main factor here because of competition okay this is what i'm getting it is coming out for that and the Three of Swords is also about healing in reverse. So tell me about this Page of Pentacles. And again, you know the Ten of Pe the Ten of the Ten card, the the Wheel of Fortune, Destined energy. It's also coming back up that you guys are meant to go through this together. Tell me about this page of pentacles energy page of pentacles you have the wow the empress oh my god a lot of you this person is not on your level this person is not on your level and you're showing up as the empress be careful you guys because you're showing up as someone that provides 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 and if you're starting this relationship in being able to provide for someone and then you're expecting them to take 50% or do 50 50 afterwards it doesn't work like that you have to build a relationship from the beginning where you guys are having some form of healthy understanding what you're looking from each other don't just buy a relationship because the empress is someone that clearly can take care of themselves don't need anyone's money um, and has everything that they have worked really hard for the empress for me as well is an older energy okay that has many lives so a lot of you could have lived three thousand lives right 
which is crazy to me i was reading the other day i thought it was like oh, 800 or maybe a thousand lives that we lived all all you know souls um but i i i recently found out that people could live like three thousand lives four thousand lives um within a soul so i just feel like wow that's a lot you know but the empress for me is definitely an older soul and so you have a lot of experience built within your dna and so when you come here you're not addicted to certain things like say drugs or drinking it's like you would try it and then you would just do it for a month and then you say ah i need a better life <laughs> you know you get over it and you just get bored with certain things because you master them very quickly or you you just understand things very quickly than another soul will like this soul is definitely not even there yet not even getting the information or the awareness to try to fight for something that you know i i do see a lot of determination on this person's part but i feel like when it comes to that's the fire right that's the pride but when it comes to stability and how long they're going to be around for you i feel like this person is showing me an energy of just coming in to fight to be successful to fight and be successful with that situation but when i when the war is all done what are their placement within your life and i feel like this person doesn't know yet and you're the empress so of course this is going to be the way it is because this person is going to think that you are the mama of the relationship or the daddy of the relationship and they just want to stay at home and they just want to you know live life that way and you should be working and spending the money and taking care of them and if you build the relationship like that in the beginning it's going to be like that for a very long time this is why you have to set boundaries this is why the empress should never settle okay i don't feel like you settle for this person but there was a lot of red flags and you kind of like didn't listen to your intuition here because the moon is also here there's a lot of things that that came through within this relationship a lot of red flags but i feel like you know the empress can be at a place where they're just not a dating kind of person you know they just want to build a relationship with someone uh, so you're going to figure this out because you're showing up as someone that this person could definitely live off of Tell me more about this empress or this could be vice versa in reverse you guys um but we have the five of wands what did i say about the arguments the conflicts this is this is why this is what's happening and i'm seeing like this is now like there's trying to re be resolved here with all the conflicts the disagreements the war the competition that also these are both competition right here all these people the five of wands the competition energy oh my god eyes on another eyes on another and you're the empress and you're letting this person get put you through this you need to know your value gems you need to know your value empress is virgo energy for those of you i'm also seeing sag here i don't know if i said that but sag is also coming out tell me more about the three of wands energy which is Aries energy that rules the three the four and the two of wands okay so there's a lot of Aries here all right Aries and the emperor i mean come on in the tower tell me about the three of wands the three of wands energy the three of wands energy all right so you have the high priestess in reverse cancer energy again and talk about your intuition huh having red flags and not being able to do anything about it like asking questions that's what they're saying you're the empress in reverse right now because you want to find out what happened with this three of wands which is the past relationship that this person had I feel like this person didn't move on with their heart, but they did move on with their bodies. Okay, so a lot of you thought that this person had someone else. This is someone that is coming up for me, not recent. This is not a recent breakup. This is someone from the past past.
they moved on, but they just didn't move on with their heart. That's why they're so afraid to come back into your life because they feel like you're going to reject them. Everything that took place with the Five of Swords energy, everything that took place. All right, so tell me about the Queen of Cups energy. The Queen of Cups energy. The Queen of Cups energy. The Nine of Cups energy. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles. I said Nine of Cups. Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. It's like you're going single here. This person is telling me you're going single within a Nine of Pentacles. Like you're getting back your power. Remember we talked about this. Remember we talked about this within your energy. Like you lost your power, your independence, even money for those of you. And look at the energy now. Look at the energy now. It's like you're receiving back that independence that nine of pentacles energy that power it's like you're going single for a while you're taking care of yourself this is not someone that is codependent so you are the empress you are the empress and this person you know a lot of you tried to do you wanted to be in a relationship so you got gifts you got you, you went on dinner, you paid for this person, you know, you were trying to be nice, but this person got comfortable really quickly within the Four of Cups. This person got comfortable really quickly within the Four of Cups. They didn't do anything back that you have done. They didn't think that they had to invest. This is how the relationship started. And then in the midst of the relationship, you were looking for a change but it was too late because it's kind of like for some of you, I'm going to say this, don't take offense, but someone brought this person love. And it's crazy because you didn't have to do that because this person already loved you. You had the two of cups, the six of, uh, the six of um, cups, okay? You had the contract that you're supposed to be in each other's life on a spiritual level. And this is why it's in reverse, because I feel like this happened in a past life. It's a cosmic correction, a karmic correction, a karmic lesson, a karmic partnership. And it's not to say, again, that you guys don't belong together. It's just that you have to go through certain hoops to be stronger, to be able to move on. This is why choice is really important. When you make a decision, make sure you're making it out of love for the collective not to be selfish for the collective okay um so that you don't have a cosmic or a karmic effect cosmic karmic i mean the same thing you gotta you gotta go through it you both situation you have to go through it i just feel like a cosmic correction is more like something that shouldn't have happened um happened and it's like you came back into this life to kind of like correct that but it's like the, having the same kind of energy as a a karmic partnership or a karmic lesson because you're coming back in this world to correct that you're coming back into this world to experience that so it's kind of the same thing cosmic um correction um karmic correction so a karmic partnership I mean, <laughs> if you guys made it to this video at this time, uh, go ahead and thumbs up the video, you guys. I'm going to change it from 500 likes to, I believe we can do it to 300 likes. So let's see what we can do to get this video up to 300 likes. Every 300 likes, I will select one person in the comment section for a 30 minute free session. Make sure you guys are commenting below as well for that situation, all right? So we are going to do 300 likes. That's 200 likes reduced because it seems like we can't hit the 500 and I really want to give back on the channel. So let's do 300 likes from now on, okay? All right, so let's see. We have a few more and then we're going to close. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. 
Seven of Pentacles energy in reverse. Four of Gems. This person's energy. Four of Gems. What is this person? Ooh, so there's a lot of words and arguments, okay, that this person has said and done, and it was very painful. It ver it just hurt. I'm just seeing hurtful words here, hurtful manifestations. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of negative vibes as well within the Seven of Pentacles energy that caused the Five as well, the Five of Wands. And this is Gemini and Virgo or Gemini's. You have you could have done something or said something when you were frustrated because it's shown up here that you are very frustrated within this person's energy and you're trying to find out the truth of what happened or play your own detective okay so you could have done something as well i'm also seeing virgo there so gemini virgo within the magician tell me more about this magician energy there's a lot of sickness for those of you as well because of your stress and everything that you have been facing it's like you're putting this illness on your body the only way to get this off of you is basically choosing yourself within the sun and your happiness and heal and laugh a little bit more and just tap yourself back into that childhood way that you were as a child okay then we have the justice here and karma has been served because something has been just okay within the justice this is libra energy balance is coming back to this all right and this is crazy because we just talked about karmic balance or karmic partnership or cosmic balance and i feel like with the justice here this is also about karmic balance and it's shown up just like this is exactly what's supposed to happen in your life and i know a lot of you are going to be like hell no i don't want to hear that but it's so true the holy spirit is saying that now you guys can move forward now there's good karma okay and it's crazy because the wheel of fortune is also here that represents balance as well tell me about the knight of cups the knight of cups so it's just it's and this is this person's energy so it's just like they did what they needed to do in this situation so it seems like in a past life you guys did this to this person like this soul okay <clears throat> and now i'm seeing resolving the five of swords right Ooh. very prideful energy doesn't want to ask for a second chance when it comes to a relationship, possibly a friendship. Wow, look at the six now. This is no longer in reverse, is it? The six of cups for them. You're in reverse because you're experiencing the hardship, but now it's balanced for them. Now it's balanced. You're looking at this as like, okay, this contract is, is, this contract is able to move forward now. It's not in reverse where you're trying to like not think about this person not to deal with this trying to reverse this person out of your life now this is in the right because the work has been done and it's crazy that things get deeper on a spiritual level when i get into my readings to see why this is happening to you is because of a karmic balance something that you have done in the past life or this could just be in your past within this life if you got the chance to to fulfill that right say you cheated on this person or you treated this person the way like this first and now it's a karmic effect but i feel like it's in a past situation this is about the past six of cups past energy past life situation past issue situation someone from your childhood that you have grown up with as well um this person could be someone that you know was you met on the block or you grew up in the same neighborhood or your friends were friends with this person like you just knew this person okay maybe this person was grew up in your family but this is coming up as an attachment, as a family, or I don't know. It's just coming up as someone that you just, you, you bond with. Or have you, if you never met this person, or remember this person because you're in the, what do you call it, the energy of forgetfulness. Because you have to forget to experience this physical experience within this world. But you know this person's soul. You do. You do, you do, you do, okay? 
<laughs> all right you guys uh this is what i have for you i'm gonna close this out here if this does resonate go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the yt all the information about me will be in the, the bio from all the specials everything you need for my instagram my everything that you need to contact me even the phone number i know that you guys don't like to email a lot to set um appointments so i put my phone number down in description you can definitely text me if you're more comfortable with that situation but um for those of you who have long distance situation and you want to set up an appointment you have to give me your whatsapp phone number okay um and, or you could find me on whatsapp at the scene tarot okay the same name as this or yeah so love you guys and i'll see you guys in your next one bye guys <laughs>